right, so this is a uh, from it's this is unexplained mysteries site and they or, or channel and they have some pretty decent uh, content too. So I might I might revisit these for this particular purpose, and I hope that's okay. But well, here's what we're gonna look at, and uh, this should be loud enough too. So we'll give them a listen real quick. They encountered in Pennsylvania. Oh, the hold on. Photograph a mysterious creature they encountered in Pennsylvania. The incident happened on the 20th of May in Washington County, Pennsylvania. The report was submitted to various scripted websites, but even they were stumped by what the person had captured. The witness said the weather was in the 50s and was sunny. The man said he was traveling north of US Route 40. He got distracted though as he saw something flying close to the trees, thinking at first it could have been an aircraft. However, when he looked closer, he could see the wings were moving. The man said that as he approached the creature, it then flew over his car. He pulled over in order to get a better look at whatever this thing was. He thought that perhaps the animal was something <coughs> as it Sorry. resembled it when it was flying, but admitted that he wasn't sure what this thing was. When it landed, he decided to move closer in order to try and work out what this thing was. He noted that the creature had black fur over its body, and that its wings were similar to a bat's. A bat has one of the most flexible wing structures in the animal kingdom, with researchers saying that it's similar to a human arm, but instead it has a thin membrane of skin covering it. The eyewitnesses said on the day of the encounter it was bright, and due to the sun's rays hitting the creature he was able to see through the membrane. The creature then flew up towards the back of his car, and at this point he wasn't the only other person observing it. Other cars had pulled over to investigate what this thing was, with the eyewitness saying that another man had parked his car down the road, and got out and started taking photographs. Both men noticed that this creature was powerful, saying that with one flap of its wings it was able to lift itself between 15 and 20 feet. The man then said the creature spread its wings and that it reached from one side of the road to the other, which gives it an estimated length of 25 feet. This is the original photograph of the creature that was taken by one of the eyewitnesses when it was in the middle of the road. After a few minutes oh he said the creature flew off above the tree line, saying that the man who took the images then ran after it into the woods, but he said he wanted to get out of there because he thought this thing could have picked up a man if it wanted to. As of today, this is one of the clearest and best images we have of a flying cryptid. No bat would have been able to stand like this, and there isn't one that matches this creature's description and size. Some went on to call this creature the Beast of Pennsylvania, and said that for years people have been seeing mysterious flying creatures around the area. All right, I think that's a good little window of it. The Beast of Pennsylvania. The Beast of Pennsylvania. Good stuff. Um, so, and I'm glad you're here for this, Amanda, because uh, this kind of is going to link up with uh, with some climate change stuff, too, because you'll see what I mean when I get into it. First and foremost, the we really only have the picture to go with because the story, uh, the story is sus, uh, in my opinion. I don't see the features that they're talking about with the transparency and everything. Uh, doesn't have the light coming through it. I, I don't see that. So that's not what this looks like to me. So because, because this is a uh, kind of a peculiar creature, wouldn't you say? Uh, let me see if I can, can uh, get us a still shot of that. And we're going to kind of just poke, poke at it for a minute. And he is right. A bat cannot stand like this. There's no bat that can stand, uh, you know, upright with his wings out like that. It's not a, not a uh, characteristic of their anatomy to allow them to do something like that. Uh, so here, here we go. Y'all see that? All right. It looks pretty good. Okay. Um. So we have. Let me see. We have some. What appears to be wings uh, going up like that. Now, since it's still, we don't even know uh, about its, its movement or anything. So uh, this could be a piece of trash on the side of a highway. It looks like something that was taken out of a, a passenger side window, maybe, as they're driving past. Because they saw something they didn't expect to see. And that's not a bad thing. Uh, you, know, you take a picture of it. Uh, that way we can try to figure it out. I wish it was a better quality picture. Maybe we wouldn't have some confusion. Maybe there wouldn't be a beast of Pennsylvania. However, um, you know, I just discovered this last night, but uh, I started poking around in it because I'm like, you know, wait a minute. Because I know what, I, looking at it, I can tell you what it is. Uh, 
I don't want to give any spoilers, but um, <laughs> I, uh, probably a lot of people out there in the in the live chat uh, already have figured out what this creature is. Uh, so let me, let me pop this back over because I wanted to look at wanted to look at there we are okay so this is the black vulture okay uh, black vulture are southern vultures and I really want to punctuate this pose right here because this is what our guys uh, seems to be doing uh, if that is not your impression uh, you know, of course, uh, feel free to disagree with me, but that really does look a lot like our uh, our creature that we were looking at. The pose that it's making is something you'll commonly see these uh, birds do on the side of the road. Now, why people? Why would uh, a vulture? Everybody, everybody sees vultures. You know, they're they're pretty common, but they're actually fairly southern. Uh, Pennsylvania doesn't get vultures. Usually, uh, black doesn't get black vultures, I should say. They have turkey vultures. So when they see these, uh, these weird-looking vultures come out, this is a report from Washington County in 2019, about the time that this video was taken. Yes, they are black vultures, and they are in Pennsylvania. The latest mass and unwanted appearance by black vultures in Marriott, and this is Lancaster, sorry, I thought it was, uh, this one was Washington County too. Uh, this was about, they actually uh, overran a, a little city because it's illegal to shoot them because they're endangered. Has led to confusion by many who didn't know there was something called a black vulture and others who wonder if the birds are some sort of variation on the more familiar turkey vulture, the black vulture which is a distinct species separate from the turkey vulture is less common, but on the rise across Pennsylvania. And that's where that's where climate change comes into it because as, as the climate warms in North America and, and moves north, uh, we are gonna see right here in, in where I live because we have armadillos now. We've never had armadillos. It's always been a Southern thing. We have armadillos now, uh, not common, but they do come up here, uh, especially in the summer months. So animals move into new areas and people don't know what they're looking at and uh, all of a sudden we have the beast of of uh <laughs> pennsylvania as the case may be here so i feel pretty confident about this uh being our uh our creature and here's another good picture this is a very common pose that they take and if you saw one and you've never seen one before on the side of the road i mean there we go look at that look at those wings uh, and they are powerful. The description's fine. Uh, and I don't know the, uh, the, the paler part on the end may have been what they were seeing as transparency. I'm not giving a lot of credence to, uh, to their narrative, to the narrative that he read off and talked about there. I'm not going to put a lot of stock into that <laughs> because it's a story from like Reddit or something, uh, some cryptid forums and stuff like that not that's a i mean that's so common for them to stand like that it's it's ridiculous but let's let's move on okay so i think everybody uh everybody kind of sees what i'm getting at here it's it's easy to to look at something like this and if you're not familiar with the with the species to uh make a bad judgment call on what it is and, and i'm not shaming anybody about that because you know what i've misidentified things before what are you going to do? It, 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 it happens. Uh, the best thing you can do is learn from it, uh, to move forward from it. It's not, it's not a, uh, a big deal to say I was wrong about something and, and to, to learn how to be right about it.